don't want to buy any of the 10,000 available VPNs which are hard earned money, so how about you build your own VPN? It is possible to make a free VPN that can stay online pretty much 24-7, allowing you to change your IP on the spot, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. To get this working, here's what we need. One free virtual private server, and one open source tunneling protocol. Actually, both of these things can be found on oracle.com completely free of charge. So, to get started, visit oracle.com slash cloud slash free and get yourself an account so you could host a virtual machine on one of their servers completely free of charge. After you fill in all of the information needed, your credit card will be charged like $1, but you'll get that back and there won't be any more charges made unless you upgrade your plan. Once you have an account with Oracle, visit the Oracle Cloud Marketplace to get yourself OpenVPN. I'll leave the link in the description. This is what we'll use to create our VPN instance. You will be able to launch this instance for free, so name it whatever you want. Save your private and public keys and click on Create Twice. Now, the OpenVPN instance will be installed on a virtual machine. Just wait until it turns green, that means it's all done. Next, let's open up some ports. Click on the Virtual Cloud Network text, then on the subnet and security list. Now click Add Ingress Rule, type in 0.0.0.0/0 and open up the 443 port. Do the exact same with port 943. I already have it added here, but the process is the same. After you open up both ports, let's go back to our OpenVPN instance and visit putty.org. Putty is the software we're going to use to communicate with our server. Once installed, open up Putty Gen and Putty. You should see this on your screen. First, click on Conversions and search for the private key you've downloaded earlier. It should have this key tag. Then save it with a different name, and then you can close Putty Gen. It's the only thing we're gonna use it for. Now, using Putty, use OpenVPN AS as your username, type in at and paste in the IP address from your Oracle panel. Navigate to SSH, Auth, Credentials, and upload the key you've converted with PuttyGen. You'll now need to agree to the terms and conditions, so type in yes, and now keep pressing enter for each of these options to use the default value. After the configuration is complete, type in sudo pass wd open VPN and set a password for your account. After that's done, you can paste in your IP address followed by a colon 943 slash admin and you'll be taken to the OpenVPN control panel. SSL certificates don't work on IP domains, so this warning is normal, just click advance and proceed. You will be able to log in using OpenVPN as your username and the password you've set earlier. Once inside, we'll tweak some settings. So first go to configuration and network settings then copy the IP address of your domain and paste it right here. Next, click VPN settings, choose have clients use specific DNS servers and type in 1111 and 1001 respectively. Finally, reboot your server at the top right here. At this point, we're almost done here. You can now issue user accounts and you can create as many as you like. So click on user management and create a new account by setting the username and password. Don't forget to check allow auto login. And that's it. Your free VPN is configured and ready to use. You just need the software to run it. So visit openvpn.net slash vpn dash client and download the software for your operating system. After the installation, use your Oracle IP address as the URL, and after that, it works just like any other VPN. You log in and you can turn it on or off. If I go do a quick test on Google, you can see that my IP is now changed. However, that does come at the significant downgrade of my internet speed. Normally, I have around 500 megabits per second without the VPN, but with the VPN, it goes down to around 60. Anyways, here's how you create a free VPN, and I made this video for a good friend of the channel called Default ID, who reviews VPNs and cloud storage providers to see if I could beat existing free VPNs on the market right now. Click here to see what he thinks of OpenVPN.